Please, please, let it be here. What the hell is this place? Oh, song. Nothing in... Yo, halo kawan, selamat datang kembali ke channel kesayangan kita Manung saya bersama saya Manung tuh Selamat tahun baru dan selamat menikmati tahun 2024 yang akan datang ini ya <laughs> wah, 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 kacau ya Jadi, um, tahun baru kemarin ternyata uh, Saya sedang ada di luar, jadi tidak bisa melakukan live streaming Untuk memperingati tahun baru 2024 gitu ya Kalau tahun-tahun sebelum itu kan uh, Bang Baim ya Bang Manung, Manung saya itu melakukan live streaming horor ya kalau nggak salah waktu itu dua kali berturut-turut kan dua tahun itu nah jadi uh, pada tahun ini saya yang akan melakukan live streaming horornya live streaming rekaman ya jatuhnya <laughs> karena tidak live streaming ya. <laughs> oke okay, kita langsung saja ya, bermain amnesia uh ada kaki kemarin kalau nggak salah ada ada orang gitu di sini tapi uh, pas aku selesai save hilang orangnya ya what the hell is happening tuh sudah ya sudah benar semua Nah, sekarang kita langsung masuk saja ke tempat ini. Gas room ya. Oke. Okay. Jadi tahun baru ini kalian kemana saja teman-teman sekalian? Um, kalau saya sendiri ya. Kalau gue pribadi itu gue ke Bandung kemarin. Gue dari hari Sabtu, Minggu, eh, Sabtu, Minggu, Senin baru pulang. Jurnal ini nang, ada kecok-kecok. Kecoknya gede lagi. Look at that. Ya kan? Gitu. Jadi kemarin itu saya jalan-jalan gitu kan, ke Bandung. Cuman memang nggak lama-lama gitu. Nginep dua malam ya, dua malam nginep terus pulang gitu. Hari Seninnya pulang. Senin itu pun pagi ya, Senin pagi pulang. Terus ya udah gitu ya kan. Udah gitu doang. Uh, oil. Ini kita cari-cari. Ini yang saya cari-cari. Uh, shish. Banyak sekali ini apa-apa aja. 2nd of July 1839. Hmm. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. Yeah. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by hmm. something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Damn. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Ah, but it do. Yang pasti sini saya mau menghemat oil ya karena ini sangat urgent cuk ternyata oil oil di sini tuh sangat sangat penting gitu ya kan oke okay. sejauh ini aman aman saja ada lagi nggak nggak ada ya nggak ada hidden hidden item gitu kah Kita buka satu persatu dulu ya Kawan-kawan sekalian Hah! Oh, what the hell is this? Yo. Daniel What? Still having nightmares, I see the Yes, I can't shake them They come every night We'll huh? put a stop to them You'll see You'll see <laughs> Okay Oh, what the hell is that? Crowbar, yeah. yeah. 3rd of July, 1839. Today, I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. <clears throat> I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. Hmm. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes 
quite colourful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. Yeah? May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Oops, Daniel okay. after one hour of entrapment. Mm -hmm. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, mm -hmm. an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. Hmm. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? What was that? Okay. Ini kayaknya ruangan ini ya, ruangan istirahatnya mereka gitu. Let's see. Broken log. Whoa. Wow. The key. Please let it be here. What the hell is this place? Kosong. Nothing. In What the? Oh, July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. Hmm. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. Hmm. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Hmm. The hell is that? Monster tadi kemana, cuk? That's it. What the hell is this? What am I supposed to do? Udah selesai nih ceritanya I guess that's it in here Right Huh Interesting What the For oh, Thank god there it is I guess it is a good place to hide it then What the hell is this? 
machine room key. What the fuck? Can I take this off too? Enggak ya. Eh. Cuma itu doang. Kalau enggak karena goyang tadi enggak tahu kita nih. Damn. Untuk enggak buru-buru keluar ya. <laughs> Sini ada juga kan? Tak ada. Oh, bisa dihidupin. Janganlah, sayang. Ini ada kelinci bakar. <laughs> suka suka mau aja dibakar-bakar semuanya. Hello. Bisa ambil gak sih? Gak bisa ya? Gak bisa. Oke. Okay. Kayaknya sudah semua ya? Mari kita keluar ruangan. Sir William Smith. Had been marked. There was no lie. What have to know? Holy moly. Oh. What the hell is this? Badan <laughs> Joe. The heck? Ini ruangan belajar. Kayaknya nggak ada tempat lain deh, kecuali harus ke sini gitu ya kan? He panted heavily, trying to trying his best to keep himself from screaming. Madison's cabinet had been overturned, turned, and lay flat. The hell is this room? Excuse me. Oh, ada tinder box. Shit. Taruh dulu di sana ya, buat jaga-jaga. The hell is this place? Gelap cuk. diangkat berantakan sekali ya oh ha biasanya sih depin hmm <tuh> apa itu oh saya curiga sesuatu di sini kali semua nothing in there damn apa channel aja ya kan? Okay. Oh, what the? Ah, kira eh, ada sesuatu. Ternyata tidak ada. Diamond, God diamond. Ini kayak gudang gitu kali ya. Berantakan cuk masalahnya. Bawa ini gitu. Aku harus ngapain di sini? Shit. Hmm, nggak bisa ngapa-ngapain. Geser kali ya. Aduh, tutupan lagi. Ya, ini saya yang ngeberantakin, saya yang harus benerin lagi. God damn it. Nothing peculiar in here, I guess. Ya kan, nggak ada hal-hal yang signifikan gitu. Lah, kita keluar saja. Nonton. Oke. Okay. Ya kita hidupin dulu ngemat oil ya kan, oil oli. Oke. Okay. Hmm. What is this? Oh. Later, regarding to the discovery of an orb to my most trusted students and friend, Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happens as I was traveling through the Parisian woods this summer. I fi finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromes 
describe it in the hardest conclusions. It was as it was told about the underground Mitzrake temple crown crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupid hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its, its color washed while rich. Contracts, contrasts is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossible and ar artifact paradox captured within stone. It w I was staying in a nearby village uh, called Old Stad, investigating one of the antique trails when I finally found the cavern I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of this enigmatic, enigmatic artifact. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to find this instinct and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and it into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed up loudly as it's closing. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentlessly, relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to the nearby ravine where I stumbled upon a man, some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remain as I continue my escape. When I hear the cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I will be sp spared. Suddenly, a blue simmering light engulfed, engulfed me and the color of the forest were washed. washed away before my eyes. I keep running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black while leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to rising wind and rain on me. I could hear bleeding screaming in the distance and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground. Uh, I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still until this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day. And I still haven't been able to write about the incidents. The last time we spoke to you, uh, you told me about your interests and ongoing research into the mythical orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Ulstad, your friend and mentor, Henrich Cornelius Agrippa. Well, well, well. Interesting. And it was only that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's get out from here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on in this room. Well, well, well. What an interesting room. What oh, lucky. Canis Lupus Vermiliars, 1985, April 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the ag agitations found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce, induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous, endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain it's difficult it is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is but i can't sense it it reeks of cosmic genesis there is an inher inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the extinct from the exercise i must revive this process to torture to enable any real work to be done more experiment must be performed, but it seems that only human be 
beings are able to produce that amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augment, augment their experience with their are. Damn. Like a torture chamber, get ya. Anjing, anjing. Let's see what you have to offer. Damn. Anjing. Ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. What the four? It's going on. Oh. It is definitely a dog. Oh shit. Benar-benar anjing ya di belek sama orang ini. Oh, damn. There is a lot of books. Ada anatomi. <laughs> Humans anatomy. Oh. Box. A tinder box. Human. Damn man. Oh, there you go. Ada teman manusia juga. Hell. Anatomy Francis. 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 For a little. Sixteen fifty eight. January 9, for their disappointment, the antiquarian's latest findings yield nothing. I mean, still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relations to the power I sense within it. Shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain since no research has been made in my particular interest. I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I see, but I hope animal will suffice as they will will prove less of a hassle to acquire. Damn, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Yo, Brubanning, what? Am I hallucinating or something? Aku berhalu halu halu Halusinasi apa gimana nih? Oke. Okay. What the fuck? Enggak bakal bergerak kan? Iya kan? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yo, what the fuck, man? Um. Oh, oil. There you go. The crack window panels and held together. Wooden frame. Punya inisiasi nih. Mana tahu bisa dipecahin ya kan? Oh, there you go. There you go. Um, okay. Okay. Nice, ya. Yeah. Berarti memang harus ke sini, ya. Karena disitu ternyata jalan buntu. What the hell? Sheesh. Oh my god, kenapa kita nggak langsung lompat aja kan ke pon-pon itu, terus kabur gitu. <laughs> Oke, okay, um, karena sudah 25 menitan ya, kurang lebih. Jadi saya harus mengakhiri video kita di sini dulu. Ya nggak perlu lama-lama lah ya. Huh, ada progres setidaknya di game ini gitu ya kan. Um, terus juga saya hari ini mau lari juga ya, lari sore. Karena di sini sudah jam 2 lewat 10, jadi saya harus makan dulu. Terus jam 3, jam 4 saya mau lari gitu ya kan. Oke, okay. mungkin segitu saja teman-teman sekalian. Kita bakal mengakhiri video kita pada di sini.
gitu. Selamat tahun baru, selamat menikmati hari libur kalian. Sampai jumpa di uh, episode selanjutnya. Tetap di Nightmare Diary bersama Manung Tu. See you next time on the next one. Bye bye.